Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Global Mobis Podcast. I'm Stefan, your MC. For those wondering, Karain is out on vacation, so we've invited a very special guest from Mobis to join us today. Hello, everyone. I'm Song Myung Sun from the PR team at Mobis. It's a new experience for me to be in front of the camera, and a little nerve-wracking, to be honest. Well, we're very excited to have you here, and thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me here. Well, I'm super excited to share the news we've prepared. Why don't we dive right in? Let's go. Hyundai Mobis has won big orders for electrification products from Europe's largest car maker, Volkswagen. This success will lead to Mobis to supply BSA to Volkswagen that will be applied to Volkswagen's next generation EV platform. This order is by far the largest one for Mobis' electrification products. And for the successful supply, Mobis will open a new manufacturing facility in Spain to make efficient supply of BSA. Wow, this is big news. As a Mobis employee, I'm excited and proud to hear this. From my understanding, BSA stands for Battery System Assembly and that it's crucial for EVs as it takes responsibility for efficient power management. You're absolutely right. Charging, storing, and using electric power efficiently is one of the most important factors for all electric vehicles. So the fact that Volkswagen chose Mobis BSA means that Mobis' product quality and competitiveness on electrification products is really at the top level. Right, Mobis is already operating BSA manufacturing plants in Korea, China, and Czech Republic. And we also have new electrification plants due open in USA and Indonesia. And now with the Spain facility in plan, Mobis' global supply network and development capacity is even enhanced. Yeah, this new BSA order from Volkswagen is really a milestone for Mobis, as it can open up greater opportunities to expand and accelerate orders on electrification to other major players too. I hope so. I'm excited to see Volkswagen's upcoming EVs driving on the roads with Mobis battery system. Hyundai Mobis introduced a new type of glove compartment dedicated to EVs. It's called Parabolic Motion Glove Box. Inspired by the aircraft's overhead bin, it uses the same four-section linkage mechanism to open and close. This allows significantly enlarged storage space by 80% compared to the conventional glove box. But even with enlarged space, its parabolic opening motion minimizes the opening radius to prevent disturbing passengers' knees. It is the world's first case to apply this type of opening mechanism to Card's glove box, and Mobis became the first to introduce this innovative glove box to Kia's EV9. Wow, that is pretty interesting. Basically, Mobis has bought airliner's overhead bins into the electric vehicle? You can say that, yes. Let me tell you more detail about this special mechanism looking at the pictures. The first three are the types of conventional glove box. The pull open type is the most common one where you pull the lever and the box rotates downwards to open. Can you see that the storage space is quite small? Uh, yeah. It seems like because of that opening mechanism, the space inside is really limited. Correct. The second one has a larger storage space, but since the door cover just falls down, it's likely to hit and disturb passengers' knees. I've definitely been in that exact situation before and it was pretty annoying. The third one is one of the more recent types. It slides out like a door. It offers large space, but again, it can hit your knees when fully open. But as for the parabolic motion glove box, the opening door linkage system makes downwards parabolic shape motion. This is just like the airliner's overhead bin. Let me show you the actual parabolic motion glove box applied on Kia's EV9. Ah, so it looks the same from the outside, but then I see it opens very differently. Right, so yeah. since you have a bigger space, you can fill in with different kinds of things. Oh yeah, I like the way it opens too. I've got pretty long legs, so it often hits my knees with the old-fashioned ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I can really see how this opening motion is different from the existing ones. And I can now see clearly how this can be beneficial to drivers and passengers too. It's interesting why this hasn't been marketed all these years though. Exactly. Sometimes innovation doesn't have to be something fancy or grand. There's always a room for innovative change if you think outside the glove box. I definitely agree with that. Mobis has done such a great job in bringing this idea to mass production. And thanks to Mobis, I won't have to worry about storing large things in the glove box anymore. Right. By the way, do you know why the glove box is called glove box? Uh, no, no, actually I've never thought about it. Believe it or not, people used to wear gloves while driving to prevent their hands from freezing. Back in the days when cards did not have roots. 
The easiest place to store the gloves was the storage compartment on the passenger side. And that's where the name comes from. Wow, oh, that's pretty cool. I've never thought about that. It's very, very interesting to hear about it. I know, right? Well, now it's used for storing various things other than gloves. And like you said, now with Parabolic Motion Glove Box, we can store even bigger things. Oh, well, how about me? Would I be able to fit in there too? Hmm. I'm just kidding. Anyway, but this was really informative. How about let's move on to the next news? Yes, let's do. <laughs> Hyundai Mobis is participating in the world's leading mobility event, IAA Mobility 2023, being held in Germany from September 5th to 10th. Formerly known as the Frankfurt Motor Show, it is now held in Munich with the name of IAA Mobility, and it is one of the world's four major motor shows and the largest automotive exhibition in Europe. Here, Mobis will showcase its cutting-edge technologies including EVs, IVI systems, next generation lighting systems, chassis, and advanced integrated cockpits to major players in the industry. With the event expected to attract the highest number of visitors in history, Hyundai Mobis aims to strengthen its existence as a mobility expert company through securing contracts and non-captive orders for future technology from European car makers. Wow! So as the world's largest motor show, it seems super meaningful for Mobis to participate. And upon reading, it says that this is only the second time that the company participated in this event since 2021. As a global top six automotive supplier, I wonder why didn't they participate in the show last year? That's a great question. The IAA holds separate events for passenger cars and commercial vehicles every other year. Since 2021, the IAA Passenger Car Show has been relocated from Frankfurt to Munich in odd-numbered years, and the IAA Commercial Vehicle Show is held in Hanover in even-numbered years. I understand now. And especially for you and our viewers, let me also disclose the booth design of Mobis exhibition for this year. Wow, so yeah, it is much bigger, mm -hmm. much fancier. Mm -hmm. We're going to be displaying the Kia EV9 mm. at our booth as well. Great. The event is not too far off, and I'm very curious to see how Mobis will showcase. Yes, I thought you might. Let me show you how the exhibition was like in our last exhibition at IAA. Mm. Yeah, it looks very sleek, very clean, very modern. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. OK, so this was last year's booth? Uh, this was 2021 IA exhibition. Oh, I see. It would be very cool to see all these little tech things. I don't really know much about what each of these things are, but it looks very impressive. You know what? I'm actually attending this event to manage PR activities. Wow, that's awesome. You're so lucky. Yes, I'll send you abundant sources of IAA so you can deliver the story in the next edition of Mobis News. Great. Thank you so much. I'm really looking forward to that. Oh, and have a safe trip. Thank you. Hyundai Mobis announced strong year-on-year -year growth for the second quarter of 2023, attributed to increased vehicle production and robust sales of high-end auto components. The second quarter's revenue recorded 15.6 trillion won, which is the highest record in company's history for quarterly revenue. Year-on-year -year operating profit rose 65%, sales were up 27%, and net profit recorded a 21.1% increase. The quarterly results benefited from the global demand increase in North America, India, and other regions, along with increased production of modules and key components amid an easing of semiconductor shortages. Wow, those are some impressive numbers. I hear that non-captive order performances are also great. Definitely. Non-captive order refers to winning order contracts from non-affiliated companies. So for Mobis, it would be all car makers excluding Hyundai Motor and Kia. Yes, like supplying BSA to Volkswagen, as we talked about earlier. Exactly. As for the non-captive orders, Mobis recorded 2.71 billion US dollars in the first half of this year, already achieving 51% of the target orders for the whole year. This was thanks to new orders for high-value parts like autonomous vehicle sensors and cutting-edge infotainment products. I see. I think we can expect to hear continuous success in the remaining half of the year too. Mm, absolutely. <laughs> And with that, we've shared all the headlines we prepared for August. And how was it being our special MC today? I was a bit nervous at first, but overall, this whole experience was really great and enjoyable. Definitely. We loved hearing what you had to say today. And thank you for coming. As for the Mobis podcast, we'll be back in September with more refreshing and delightful news. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. See you, See next, you next time. time.